and welcome back to Colourful Semantics. It's a very exciting day today because we're going to do something a little bit different. You already know that we have, when we do our Colourful Semantics, we first look at our orange colour, then our yellow, and then our green colour. But today, because you're getting so, so good at Colourful Semantics, we're adding another colour. Can you tell me what colour it is? It's blue. Well done. Okay, so we know that orange means who, yellow means doing what, what does green mean, it means what, very good. And can you read what it says above blue? It says where, okay, so we're describing where the picture is, okay. But don't worry, we're not going to do that one straight away, we're going to do our first sentence as normal without the blue, with just our first three colours. And then our second sentence, we're going to add our last colour, our blue colour, okay? So for now, we're just going to use these three for our first sentence, okay? Okay, so if we have a look at the picture today, we are looking at who is in our picture first because we always start with orange. And that's who, so who is in our picture? Picture, can you tell me? It's Katie. Katie. And Katie is her name. So what do we start her name with? A capital letter. Katie. Okay. What is our second colour? It's yellow. And what does yellow mean? Doing what? Okay. So she's doing something. She's using her ear to do something what do we use our ears for L listening very good what sound does listening start with uh, very good it's a tricky one listening because it's got t in it. it doesn't sound like it does listening and there my favorite sound remember Mm, at the end, listening. Okay, so Katie, listening. Now we need our next colour, which is green. What does green mean? It means what? What is Katie listening to? So have a look at the picture. She is listening to something. What is she listening to? She's listening to the girls. So we can write she's listening to the girls, or we could write what the girls are doing that she's listening to. She's listening to the girls, and what are they doing there? Laughing, the girls laughing. Okay, let's sound out the word girls. Let's do it all together. G, uh, girls, girls. So the first sound is g. Okay, now it's our next sound, g, uh. Uh, uh, do you remember our rhyme for uh, 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 whirl and twirl? Can you find it for me and point to it when you found it? Very good. Uh, g, uh, what's our last sound, girl? G, uh, oh. And because there's more than one girl, we say girls. So what sound is at the end? Girls. Well done. And the girls are laughing. And laughing is another tricky one. Laugh. It's a bit of a tricky one. Laugh. How do we put an ing on the end? Laughing. So we know it's an i. And what's the sound at the end? Sound. Laugh it, mm. can you point to mm for me? My favourite sound, mm. laughing. Okay, so now's the bit I, I find really tricky and I need you to help me with, because I always think that this sounds okay. Katie, listening, girls laughing. There's something I can do to make that sentence Makes sense. It doesn't really make sense at the moment. Can you help me put that into a real sentence? I'm going to hear you. I think I heard lots of you say, Katie, 
Lucy is listening to the girls laughing. And you remembered something at the end, what was it? A full stop, okay, well done. So we're going to try our talk for writing our action so we remember what our sentence is before we write it down. Are we ready? We have to start with a capital letter, well done. Katie is listening to the girls laughing, full stop. Okay, let's try that one more time. Katie is listening to the girls laughing, full stop. Very good. So I would love to see if you can write that into a sentence and don't forget to keep it on the line. Well done, thumbs up for you. Pause it if you need some more time to work on that one. And then we're going to start our next sentence with our brand new colour. Okay, so have a look at the picture again. So we've still got the same person, haven't we, in our picture, and it's Katie. And we remember, we already remember, don't we, that we start Katie with a capital K because it's her name. Katie. Okay, so that was orange with who. What's next? What's yellow doing what? Let's see, what she, she's doing something with her eyes. She's uh, looking. Very good. Uh, you need some help. Can you help me sound out looking? Uh, uh, k, i, n, looking. Okay. Let's find the uh sound. Can you find a uh, uh, look at a book? Very good. What's next? N looking. Okay, our next colour. Green. And what does green mean? Means what? What is she looking at? She's looking at the painting. Painting. Okay, Katie looking painting. But guys, we've got one more colour. Do you remember our extra colour? What does blue mean? It means where. So where are they? Where did they go to? The gallery. Let's go to that. Let's see that. Gallery. Okay. So our key words are Katie looking painting gallery. Does that make sense? Katie looking painting gallery. No. So let's try to put that into a real sentence that makes sense. Katie is looking at the painting in the gallery. That sounds much better. Katie is looking at the painting in the gallery. What do we need at the end? A full stop. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to write this one down here just to show you how, because it's a little bit bigger, the sentence, because we've got an extra colour. Okay, so what do I need to start my sentence with? capital letter because it's the start of my sentence but even more so it's the her name so we always start a name with a capital letter so Katie Katie looking was that our sentence oh no Katie is looking Katie is is that okay Katie is looking I can hear some people telling me I'm doing something wrong. What should I do wrong? I'm missing something. Can you tell me what I'm missing? Finger spaces. It just looks like one big jumbled up word. 
Let's try again. Katie, what do I need? Because I've finished my word. <gasps> Finger space. Katie is. What's my next word? If I forget, remember, I can look at my keywords. Katie is looking. So I need another finger space because I've finished my word. Looking. Katie is looking painting. Or Katie is looking at the painting. At. So I've finished my word. Another finger space. At the Another finger space. I could write painting there, but I'm going to move on to the next line because I don't have that much room and I'd rather it be really neat and tidy on my next line. Katie is looking at the, my next word is painting. Painting. Another finger space, so I've finished my word. In the my last word gallery I'm going to do a fancy gut I'm feeling fancy today gallery I could do a fancy gut as well just for today and what do I need at the end a full stop so let's read it back and check that it makes sense Katie is looking at the painting in the gallery can you give me a thumbs up if you think that makes sense? Yeah, I think that's good too. Well done. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing your lovely sentences and well done for including our next colour, which is blue, which means we're. Fantastic job, guys. Bye.